Hello everyone. This video is on my recent candles by Victoria Porter Hall. Um, I placed this order uh, or during her Memorial Day sale 2023 and uh, yeah, let's hop into all this good stuff. Oh, um, and all of the uh, like shapes, I got all scent cups in this order and I think there are a couple scents that are not new to me. In this order and i will definitely point them out to you when i get to them okay so this is the sample that i got in this order this is aquilina blue sugar and i mostly just smell blue sugar on cute all right i'm gonna try to do this in alphabetical order because that's how I wrote all this in notes down. <laughs> okay, first we have a hunk of hunk of burning nuts, which is caramel uh, pralines and bananas and peanut butter, which bananas peanut butter is Elvis. Oh, that smells good. This really smells like banana split. Mm, that is, that is so good. And then we have Bath Time with Pooh, which is a Honey I Wash the Kids dupe from Lush. Cute. Oh man, yeah, that is a straight up dupe. Oh, that is so good. I love Honey I Wash the Kids. Love that scent. Um, next is Bamboo and White Grapefruit, which is White Grapefruit, Pettigrain, Tangerine, Mandarin, Mimosa Petals, uh, fresh bamboo, juniper berries, and musk. <laughs> so many scent notes. Whoop. And this is a very, like, heavy on the greenery type of scent. With musk and, like, a light citrus scent on cold. I'm hoping the citrusy part comes out more. Who <laughs> would? Um, next is blueberry orange creamsicle. Now, this is one of the not new to me scents in this order. This is creamsicle and blueberry cheesecake. Smells lovely and it is as described it is a citrusy blueberry cheesecake kind of scent and where are you boop, boop, boop. okay um next we have breakfast bliss which is french toast strawberry jam cream cheese frosting Mm, that French toast is so cinnamony, cinnamony sweet buttery goodness right there. And I do get a note of like a candy fruit. Not like a candied, but like a candy that smells like a fruit, tastes like a fruit. Um, but on cold, I really can't specifically say that it is strawberry. Um, but that French toast in there is yum. Um, let's see. Next we have banana brown sugar drizzle, which is banana brown sugar creme brulee. Mm hmm Yep, and it smells like, like a banana's foster on like a yellow cake to me on cold. Very nice. Um, then we have banana coffee frap which is, okay, it's Bananas Foster, um, fresh coffee, coffee, and then Cafe Olat. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that smells like a Bananas Foster with coffee. Absolutely delicious. Let's see, and then we have Caramelized banana split. Where are you? Um, caramel, caramelized pralines and banana cream pie. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, I mostly just get the banana cream pie on cold. But and it's funny because. The, like, a hunk of hunk of burning love smells more like a um, banana split scent than this one that is named Carmelized Banana Split. Here's Bonnie. Um, okay. So next we have 
Caramel Brulee Latte, which is buttery caramel uh, creme brulee and coffee. Yep. And that smells like a caramel coffee um, with like a hint of bakery. Very nice. And then we have Christmas in Whoville. This is a, another not new to me set in this order. This is pink sugar and sweet snow. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Um, I'm guessing the sweet snow is like a pepperminty candy candy kind of scent. Um, but like pink sugar and minty scents are just so beautiful together. Um, next we have... Enchanted Forest, which is patchouli, herbal, sandalwood, strawberry, raspberry, vanilla, and peppermint. Oh, wow. Hello, patchouli. <laughs> but honestly, like, I get, like, definitely get the patchouli. Like, that one is not hiding for sure. And then the peppermint, like, both of them very equal. But I do get, like like the tiniest bit hint of um fruit in there too that is a very very nice scent um next we have english ivy which is it, so the scent description basically just says fresh and clean and then country garden in the spring oh my gosh that is so pretty Mm-hmm. I mean, it's definitely, it's floral, greenery, pretty, and it is. It's fresh. It's so, so lovely. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see. Moving on, we have Fair Day, which is caramel apple and cotton candy. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. That is a very sweet caramel apple scent. Very sweet. Thank you, cotton candy. <laughs> um, and then we have Fairy Garden, which is lemon peel, sugary fruit accord, green notes, white ginger, bamboo, white musk, grapefruit, spring melon, lotus blossom, and lilies. Oh, that is very nice, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. It is definitely a little fruity. It's kind of... Okay. So, like, to me, this is kind of like a fruity, greenery, soap type of scent. It's very fresh and pretty, like the English Garden. But I would say more sweet and more fruity than that one. Very, very good. Um, next we have Fruity Pebbles, and that one basically just says it is, like, straight up Fruity Pebbles. And it is. And it's delicious. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> um, Okari, Okari. Now I'm going to have to do, like, some things. So there are a few that I'm not going to do in, like, alphabetical order because I set four of them specifically aside, and I will show you why when I get to them. Um, next we have honeycomb, which is honey, I wash the kids and bakery and like further down in the description, it like says like the notes of honey, I wash the kids basically, but then it says cheesecake. So I'm guessing the cheesecake is like the bakery note added. Oh man, that is good. I love honey. I wash the kids. Scent. Um, on cold, I really can't tell the difference between that one and bath time with poo um but on warm i'm hoping it does like become a little bit creamier or bakerier or like whatever the additional goodie is in there i hope that comes out more and loom let's see and then we have yeah we have lemon blueberry cheesecake strudel which is lemon pound cake blueberry cheesecake and cinnamon strudel Mm-hmm. Yeah. The smells. I know I say that. I'm like saying that all the time. Like, yep, that's what, yep. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job explaining your scent notes that are in there. Duh. <laughs> but yeah, it is a, a 
lemon cinnamon strudel scent occult to me and apparently to them too because that's what they said is in it <laughs> um next is mama's got a sweet tooth which is a, another not new to me scent from them this is paint sugar zucchini bread chocolate chip cookies delicious Mm, yeah, <laughs> I just did it again. Get the pink sugar, the zucchini bread, and the chocolate chip cookies. And the chocolate chip cookies to me is not like the really like I don't want to say bad, but like the like very artificial, like milk chocolatey kind of scent. That to me, this doesn't smell like that. So I like it. That's a good chocolate. Okay, and next we have mango macadamia nut which is mango, peach, and toasty macadamias. Oh, that peach is like right there, hello. And then the mango, well, that is nice. And the peach to me doesn't smell like the peachy rings kind of scent, which is very good. Um, it smells more like a peach jam to me on cold. Um, the mango actually, um, I feel like is like right behind the peach which is a little surprising because sometimes I feel like mango scents can like like jump out and slap you in the face more um but the toasty macadamia part I'm not really getting much on cold so I hope that comes out more room next we have million dollar baby which is cake cream cookie pineapple and vanilla Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very cakey, creamy goodness right there. So I'm not really getting like any pineapple on cold, which is fine by me. Um, <laughs> if it does come out more and warm, I hope it's like, like way more bakery and not like really, really tart and overpowering. So I'm going to spot one now. Let's see, do I know my alphabet? Not really. Like, don't get your hopes up, man. Let's see. Where are you? Okay. Next we have orange passion fruit sorbet, which is bright and fruity, creamy vanilla. That is all of the scent description right there. I mean, it's definitely fruity. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it smells like a creamy fruit scent. Very nice. Um... Then we have banana, <laughs> which is chocolate, raspberry, peanut butter cookies, um, bread, banana, and funnel cake. And I'm hoping her funnel cake doesn't have cinnamon in it. And I don't think it does. However, I mostly just smell the chocolate raspberry on cold and not a fan of that part of the scent so hopefully on warm everything else comes out and blends very nicely together let's play nice let's play nice um next we have peanut butter buttercream frosting which is peanut butter cookie and buttercream crunch creme brulee oh that is good yes mm -hmm. it is a definitely a like creamy nutty um, bakery scent for sure. Very good. And then we have a strawberry cream cupcake and the scent description basically says it is a strawberry cupcake. <laughs> and it is. Oh, that smells very good. Mm -hmm. That is very good. I would say though, it is like very, very sweet, kind of almost like to the side of almost like a sweet tart sweet. But it's very nice. Next we have strawberry Danish, which is strawberry crunch and cornbread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, strawberry, strawberry jam and cornbread, I would say. Very yummy. Then we have strawberry kettle corn, and basically the scent description says it is a flavored popcorn scent. Yeah, oh, yeah, and it is, like, it is very buttery. 
This is a very buttery scent. Like the strawberry is like way in the back, way in the back. And like the butter is the one slapping you in the face, man. Um, turning the page. Next we have, where are you? Oh, Sweet Southern Breakfast, which is peanut butter, strawberry jam, and cornbread. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That strawberry jam is very delicious. It's very candy. I wouldn't say that this strawberry jam is like an authentic one per se. Um, but it's very nice. Um, and then mixed with the peanut butter and cornbread. Yum, yum, yum. Very bakery strawberry goodness. Um, next we have Tranquillité, which is eucalyptus, lavender, and rain. Oh, that is pretty. This to me smells like a men's shaving cream. Not like the barbershop, like, kind of stuff. But like, I don't know, my, <laughs> this smells like the one, like the shaving cream that my dad used to use in the army all the time. That's what it smells like to me. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, my dad does not shave very much anymore because he is retired from the army and he is like, I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> um, anyway. Next we have Under the Big Top, which is cotton candy, strawberry, and pralines. Oh, baby girl. Oh yeah, that is, <laughs> oh yeah. That is a very strawberry nutty type of scent. And it is sweet. This, this strawberry though, kind of smells like the, like a uh, strawberry candy that you get and like the strawberry wrappers yeah um and and then like with like a nutty note to it okay and then we have white chocolate caramel crunch which is white chocolate caramel and then caramel corn okay well <laughs> this to me just smells like a caramel milk chocolate like candy um so like it smells more cocoa-y than one would expect or at least than I expect on it cold and then we have white christmas which is another not new to me scent in this order um and the scent description basically just says it is a christmas floral scent but that is also very popular and it is so pretty and it does, I mean, honestly, like, it really does smell like a Christmas floral scent. <laughs> it's, it is very hard to describe, and I think she even says that in the scent description, too. But it's like, it's sweet and pretty, kind of fruity, very floral, kind of clean, but absolutely just beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, okay, so then the last four items in this haul are her harry potter house scents um so in the scent descriptions for all of these scents she does not have a description really um i think she basically said she let her daughter like help her mix them um, so <laughs> I smelled these last night with my husband because I was like, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, what am I going to say? <laughs> um, because as I was writing this in descriptions for everything else, um, I was like, well, there, there are no scent descriptions for this. And I was going to do like, kind of like a surprise, like let's smell them together with you guys. Same time while filming this video. But then I was like, man. <laughs> Like, it's just, it's really just going to sound like I'm, like, super unprepared, which I usually am, besides the point. Um, but for these ones, I mean, I was like, like, I really want to have something to say for them besides me, like, bumbling around trying to say what I think it is. So I had my husband, like, sniffer 
these with me last night and he um was kind of a help <laughs> with like one of them maybe um but we like passed them back and forth like uh, like i don't even know like three or four times trying to figure it out so anyway here we go so first we have gryffindor Now, to me, <laughs> well, and now because my husband said it, um, my husband thinks that this smells very porpory y And because he said that, I do too. And to me, this one is like a, like a floral type of scent, kind of sweet and with a lot of spice. The next one is Hufflepuff. And this one to me just smells straight up like a honeysuckle. Um, it smells so good. And I made him like smell like a million times last night. Like it is a honeysuckle, right? It is. And he's like, I don't know. I don't know. But that's what this one smells like to me. And the next one here is in Ravenclaw. And also, shout out to my fellow Hufflepuffs. <laughs> okay, so Ravenclaw. Now he says this one to him smells like sandalwood. When I first smelled it, I honestly had no idea. Then the more I've been smelling it, I kind of agree with him. I do agree that it does kind of smell like sandalwood. Oops, there it is. Um, and then the last item for this order is in Slytherin. Now, I told him that I would be surprised if he can get at least one note out of here. Because there is straight up patchouli in this. Like, that is... That is what I smell. I mean, it's not like so strong, like like a Lord of Mistral type of scent. Um, but I know it's in there. I smell it. Um, and he was like, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, really? And so I told him, and he was like, oh. And I was like, that that scent is in a lot of your clones. Um, and I was like, sandalwood. I mean, probably is too. But like, I know for sure, Petulia is especially in his shower gels. Like, I know it's in there. So I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, but that is everything for my most recent order from Candles by Victoria. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.